What's up guys? Chris here with just a quick video on the FNX. I decided to uh, take it apart and everything went well so far except for one little thing and that is um, I messed up my back strap trying to take it off. Let's see if I can find my uh, punch. No, that's not it. This isn't it. So if you can tell it's got a little bit bent in the process. But anyway, what you're supposed to do is put in a tool, a punch or something in here to depress a little latch and then slide it off. So what I did, I went in with the punch, got it started, and it kind of got stuck there. And I figured since this is a rubber piece and I've heard um, other people saying this was a real pain to get off, Next thing I did was I figured, well, I can put a punch through here. So I got my uh, slightly bigger punch, put it in through here, and tried to pull it off. And as you can see, it broke the uh, lanyard loop. Then I tried, <coughs> then I tried uh, using some pliers to try and pull it off. So you can see it just deformed the rubber here. And finally, I went in with a screwdriver at the top and then kind of tried to pry it off. But anyway, the problem is that I, I didn't get the latch all the way down. So what you do is you push the tool in, kind of at an upward angle, because the latch is sitting in, in here like this, holding on to a piece back here. So put the punch in at an angle, push it down, and you can slide the back, uh, back strap off. Um, the other thing I found, if you if you hold the tool straight in, push down. Let's see if we can do this. You'll get to this point, and then it's going to get stuck. What you want to do then is take out the punch, and the back strap will come off. Because what happened there is your tool gets stuck on this part right here. So yeah, this one's uh, pretty much scrap. Fortunately, I've uh, got real back straps coming in, hoping they fit. If not, I'll have to contact uh, Kick Taiwan to get a new one of these. And here's the slimmer one. You can see the fat one on here, slim one there. So when you slide this on, it goes on without too much pressure. Push it all the way up, and again, to remove it, tool in, pull down, it gets stuck, take out your tool, and voila. So that's a lesson learned on disassembling the FNX. As you can see, I've uh, pretty much completely stripped this. Uh, the next thing I want to mention is that the uh, the safety lever mechanism sits on like this and on the both sides there's a I think it's a 0.9 millimeter grub screw that long that sits in here so you want to remove that on one side pop the safety lever off pull the safety lever out and then you're able to get the hammer mechanism out of the shadow uh, out of the frame so this looks it's uh, nicely self-contained so there's nothing popping out here but it looks kind of complex you know with the decocking feature and safety and also a very strange sear and what I found to be the the hammer release is that tiny tiny nub sticking out right there if we go ahead and cock the hammer actually uh, I just want to put the safety lever in to make sure it's not up in safe mode when I do this I don't fuck it up so push the hammer back and we're just gonna push that little piece boing so that's how the hammer is released and the trigger bar goes in here in this area 
So the last thing I noticed when taking it apart was uh, I was trying to get the front inner frame out and it was like super stuck. I thought that the safety, uh, I'm sorry, the takedown lever was going to come out of the frame with the uh, with the inner frame but you had to, there's a uh, detent spring in here putting pressure on the safety lever or takedown lever that you need to take off and then the uh, takedown lever comes out and the inner frame came loose so other than that it looks pretty uh, standard one thing it's kind of interesting is that nozzle has um, some sort of weighted piece in at the back that you unscrew and I'm thinking since this is partially partially adjustable this might be functioning like a built-in end pass or something where you can tighten it down or pull it back I'm not really sure what to uh, make of that thing uh, what else was kind of strange? Yeah, the uh, the spring for the ambidextrous magazine release was a real pain to get out. What I ended up doing was I managed to wiggle it loose halfway, then I pushed the left side of the magazine release into the frame, twisted it, and it uh, fell out through the bottom, and then I could take the spring out from in here. But, uh, yeah, it was in there pretty good. So that's, um, that's what I've gotten so far. I'm going to focus on taking down the hammer assembly. I want to clean off all of this nasty grease that was in here from the factory. So, uh, yeah, we'll see how this goes. Hopefully I can get it back together. Here's what the slide looks like. Completely stripped. Not much holding, well, there's a decent amount of material in there, but the cutout for the RMR certainly leaves a mark. Kind of interesting. Uh, yeah, that's it for uh, for this. I just wanted to give you a heads up, mainly on the back strap, because that's what I figure most people might be trying to do themselves. So be careful with that, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.